one month later. <sighs> uh, Dad, it's been over a month. I think by time now, Golden Freddy has learned his lesson, that he's the only one left. He has nobody else but us. Should we go let him free or something? I mean, shoot, maybe we could bribe him somehow. Blackmail him. Anything. Just to get him to join us. I mean, come on now. I'm pretty sure one month for an immortal seems like eternity, so like... Hmm. What should we do? To be honest, son, I think you're right. Everybody, today's the day that we are going to try getting Golden Freddy to actually join our side, instead of keeping him in the dungeon. So, Shadow Freddy... Go bribe him. But you know what I mean when I'm talking about bribing, right? Yes, to get him to join our team somehow. This little group, whatever you want to call it. Indeed. So everybody, get ready. We're going to have another member added to our group. Now go. Yes, sir. Well, this is going to be interesting. Yes, I'm sure it is. I wonder how this is going to work. Not like I really care, but just saying. Yeah, me too. Hopefully you'll actually join instead of, well... What's the word? Declining. Declining the request of him joining. Yeah. What you said, Lion. Honestly, I hate when he declines like that. Him and I used to be close friends. How is he about to do me like this? It doesn't make any sense. Well, that's how some people are, so... Nah. Who really cares anyways? He'll have to join our group no matter what. Yeah, that's true, but never mind. Shut up now. <sighs> yeah, what he said. Shut up, everybody. Let's just all wait for Golden Freddy to join our side. I'm bored, 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 I'm bored. Oh, I just want to go back home and just revive my friends. What the heck, man? Why can't I leave? You keep saying that, Golden Freddy. You might as well just forget about it. Because there's no way you're going to go home. Ever. Says you. It's true. Quit telling yourself that you're going to escape when you're really not. Because that's never going to happen. Ever. <sighs> You'll see. Watch me. Oh, wait. Speak of the devil, look who's here to bail you out, to get you to join their group. Huh? Hello, Golden Freddy. Oh, what do you want now? It's been over a month now. I'm sure now you might as well have given in. So come on, join our group. We'll revive your friends. We'll do anything. We'll even make you look new again. We'll do anything. Just please join our group. Hmm. You guys will do anything. Just to have me join your group? Yes, indeed. Okay, first of all, let me out. Second of all, revive all my friends. Third of all, you have to trust me. <sighs> I wouldn't listen to him, Shadow Freddy. I don't think he's fully trustworthy. He is a trickster, you know. You know, that is correct. But there's always gotta be some way he can join our group. So if I can trust you, Golden Freddy. So if you're actually gonna do what I tell you to do, then prove to me that you're not lying. You know the worst thing to do is for you to tell a lie. So just come clean to me. If you do anything I say, I will join your group. But that's as long as you let me free and revive my friends. Every single one of them. Hmm. Before I do, Undertaker. Yes? Put a force field around our planet so he cannot escape. You know what? It's fine. Just as long as my friends are okay, I don't plan on escaping. As long as they're revived and I'm out of this stupid little dungeon thing. <clears throat> Smart thing to say. Alright, Shadow Freddy. I'm putting the force field around it now. <sighs> Alright, sir. There's no way Golden Freddy will ever be able to escape. Now, do I set him free from this dungeon or what? Yes, do it. I must bring him to Lefty. Also, if he tries anything against us, even though he can't really escape, shock him. Like, if your senses start tingling, that he's planning on doing something, just shock him. Shock him so hard, he won't be able to feel a thing. He won't even be able to move. All right, run along now. Take him with you. And remember, Golden Freddy, like you just said, if you do try anything, you know what'll happen. The pain you'll go through and everything. So don't even think about trying anything. <laughs> All right. I won't. Just get me out of here. Grab him, Shadow Freddy. All right. You're coming with me. Ugh. <sighs> Not to pay close attention to him. He won't even think about trying anything. Because he knows that the pain will hurt him really badly. Well, obviously because it's pain. But if mortals can die through that, or die instantly from that, then clearly, if immortals go through that pain, 
they'll suffer way worse because they're not gonna die. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Ugh. I got him. Yeah, it seems so. Also, I seen a force field being thrown around the planet. Is this so he's not escaping? Yes, indeed. But if he tries anything, don't worry. The Undertaker Bear has it under control. But, sir, I bribed him. He says as long as we revive his family, friends, whatever you want to call it, then he'll join our side. Just as long as they're okay. <clears throat> All right. But we're still going to have to take over the world, so... <clears throat> That's just too bad. What? Well, when I said taking over the world... I meant the entire universe, which means planet Earth and all those other planets. The entire universe, you know what I'm talking about? But, my family, come on, just let them live a happy life. They, they didn't do anything wrong. It, it was all me who caused this. I'm sorry, Lefty. I really am. There's no way I could fix this, but I wish there was. And to be honest, if there was any way, could you, like, tell me how? You should have thought about that years ago. It's too late for that now. Hmm. You know what? I'll let your friends live. But you're still gonna have to take over the world with us. Even if they have to die in apocalypse. We're still taking over the world. No. Lefty, wait. You're really gonna take over the world over what I've caused? It's all my fault. Technically yours too, because... Well, what you wanted to do to everybody. You didn't know what you were doing and you could have gotten somebody killed. And look where you are now. This is why I kicked you out in the first place. You could have made the promise, but you never did. You could have stayed, but you never came back. And look where we all are now. Everyone's dead. You got your way. But what good did that do? Did you find happiness out of all of it? Do you feel better about yourself? Are you even satisfied? If so, explain to me why. You know what? Now that you think about it, I'm not really satisfied of this. Maybe not yet, but I feel better about it. Like I said, explain to me why. Why do you feel better about it? It didn't change your past. It only ruined your future. You didn't benefit anybody. Not even yourself. You call yourself smart? Think things over before you do it. Just because you have a ton of knowledge doesn't mean you don't have to think things over. You don't just come up with something like that, like a plan or all that sorts of crap, and think it's going to go your way. And you're going to be satisfied after you're done succeeding with it. Finishing it off. Just being done. Literally, just because of what I did in the past doesn't mean you have to ruin everybody else's lives. Not to mention yourself. You just made things worse. Well... It doesn't matter anymore, because all I have left is this group of mine, and my son. Me too, I'm a part of this group. I just said that. Never mind though, all I have left is this. This is what I call family. What you did back then made me feel like I wasn't alive, or even a part of anything. You made me feel useless, and now doing what I did makes me feel a lot better, knowing that there's not people that can stop me from doing what I plan on doing. It really doesn't matter anymore, Golden Freddy. Just get over it. Your friends are dead. I'm not bringing them back. Actually, well, I'll do that. But no matter what, we're taking over the world. And you have no other choice but to join me. Also, by the way, this was me getting you back on everything for ruining my life to my family and myself. You always thought that you were going to get away for what you did to me, but you're wrong. And like you said, look where we are now. You caused this on yourself. We wouldn't even honestly be stuck in this situation if you haven't done what you did. Now, like I said, to make my life a whole lot better, we're going to take over the entire universe. And come to think of it, Golden Freddy, you'll be able to do whatever you want without any consequences. No karma, no nothing. Just freedom. What more could you and everybody else ask for? Freedom. Just think about it. I just want my friends to be okay. Please do not take over planet Earth. Let's just do any place but that. Just please, out of all places, even if we do take over the entire universe, just not Earth. Count that out. Let them live happy lives. They never did you any wrong. It was me. I should be the one suffering from the consequences. I mean, in a way, I am already, but... You know what I'm talking about. You shouldn't have to let them suffer for what I did. It's my problem, not theirs. So come on. Let's take over the entire universe together. Just as long as we stay away from Earth. And that's that. And like I said, as long as my friends are revived and back to life, just please, I'll do anything. Even if it is, like you just said, taking over the entire universe. Come on now. Hmm. You know what? Great idea. It wasn't the Fazbear's problems in the first place. But if I had in the way of my plans, then I wouldn't have got to done what I did on getting you back there. But like I said, what does it really matter? Shadow Freddy, 
Revive his friends, all of the Fazbears. Let them live a happy life on Earth. All of us, including Golden Freddy, that are alive on this planet, will take over the universe. But we'll leave Earth alone. Forget that place anyway. But before we go on with any other plan of taking over the universe, planet picking me right here, this will be our lair. Anywhere else will just be a surrounding place. Except Earth. Like I said, Shadow Freddy, go. Revive his friends slash family. Fill their head up on what's going to be happening to the world around them or their universe. Let them know that I have Golden Freddy and Puppet. And Theodore, too. Because as soon as they wake up from being revived or brought back to life, they're going to be wondering what's going on. And how will they live a happy life if they're worrying too much? Hmm. You don't speak wrong, sir. But anyways, looks like I gotta focus my powers to where Earth is, to the center of Earth, where the atmosphere hits down, or whatever, to just help them revive, come back to life, whatever you want to call it, and then fill the knowledge in on what's going on, so that they're living a happy life and not worrying. Okay, Christ, get on with it! Revive his friends! Fill up the knowledge up in their head on what's going on with Golden Freddy and Puppet, and make sure... Earth is unharmed. Yeah, 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 right. No more messing around. I got it. <laughs> Reviving all Fazbears. Filling knowledge up in their head on what's going on to Golden Freddy and Puppet. And leaving Earth unharmed. <sighs> okay, well, it's done. They're alive and all that sorts of crap. So what do we do now? It's time. We set sail. This plan is going to be taking action right now. Everybody get off their lazy butts and let's go take over the universe now. You heard the guy. Everybody up. Oh shoot, right, right, right. Whoa, today's the day already? All right, all right, I got you. Huh. Ugh. All right, move over. Huh. Ugh. Come on, Theo, let's go. Huh? Huh. Ugh. Ugh. What am I doing now? Go grab onto the one of the group members. We're going to be teleporting onto our spaceship, taking over the world. You should know this by now. Come on! Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, you do realize you're sitting in my lap, right? That's a little weird. Uh, yeah, you don't think I realize that. Okay, then why are you doing it? Because this is the first place I landed when I jumped over here to grab somebody's hand. Oops, I'm sorry. My bad. Just, uh, pff, grab onto my hand. Christ. Yeah, right. Ugh. All right, now. Shadow Freddy, grab hold. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ugh. Wait, let's all rearrange spots from smallest to largest. So, Golden Freddy, lion up front. All right. Huh. Huh. You all know what to do. Rearrangement now. Yes, indeed. All right, and now, great job, everyone. Now to the spaceship. Ding. <laughs> all right, and now, time to go. <laughs> Shoot, they left without me. Hold on, guys. Wait up. <laughs>